So I bought this 1996 Mustang GT as a project car, specifically to end up going drifting. Constantly, I find myself on YouTube trying to find videos on how to modify my car or just fix my car. And then I usually find myself knee deep in car guts, not knowing how to put it back together or better yet, breaking it. So yeah, I, I bought a car so then I can do this many times. Now, as pessimistic as I am being, I am actually pretty excited. Now, don't worry, I will still be putting out plenty of reviews. I'm just hoping to expand my audience and become more mechanically inclined. I'm wishing that the series will also serve as an inspiration or rude awakening to the many amateur enthusiasts out there wanting to dive deeper into the automotive world. If you like this project idea, support me by subscribing, liking, or sharing the video. If a drifting Mustang sounds familiar, trust me, I wasn't trying to copy Chris Fix. I drove other cars but settled on this 96 Mustang GT due to its pretty solid value, cheap parts, and this car's list of new mechanical parts. I can't wait to do a review on it. That'll be for another day because this one's a little rough and you'll get to see more of that in future videos. This is kind of just an introduction uh, to the project, but yeah, I want to take this car drifting. I want it to be a proper track day machine. So uh, first thing that I'm going to try to do is, well, make it look less like shit. I'm going to binge watch Chris Fix's drift staying videos. I also recommend that you do at some point. So the question that I'm going to try to answer with this YouTube series is, can an inexperienced asshole like me with no real special tools or skill sets um, turn this into a drift stain? I gotta think of a name actually for this one. Can't just do drift stain. That's definitely the best one too. He, he like, out the box, just kind of did everything. So I guess I'm gonna see if I can do it too. Well, I guess we'll take this uh, beast out for a quick ride. <laughs> is for sure you're probably not going to be able to hear me too well um, partially because this window is open due to the AC not being fully uh, there and also the tires are extremely loud uh, they have a staggered setup on here with 275s in the rear this also has a Flowmaster exhaust system and a cold air intake I think that's about it when it comes to performance modifications. This one has a five-speed manual transmission. It was recently swapped out. Clutch is also relatively new and that feels great as well. There are a lot of strong suits to this car, but there's also, uh, well, a lot of negatives. And I will be sure to address most of these things with either a video on me trying to fix it or just the end result if I end up uh, having to give up. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I can do 90% of these things on my own. Oh, yes. To me, when I wind this thing out, it sounds like the uh, Mustang equivalent of a clapped out Civic. Okay. That is so much fun. For your insight, I spent 3300 on this. Um, ridicule me in the comments section uh, or praise me. I don't know. Kind of expecting the former there, but uh, surprise me, please. The reason why I paid that much is, well, it's relatively low mileage, low 100s, but the speedometer stopped working about last year sometime, so. Uh, but the tires are apparently nine years old, so I don't see this uh, having too much more than the 112 that the dash reads. Also replaced late last year were all of the calipers, rotors, and pads, along with a new transmission, the clutch, and a MagnaFlow exhaust system. I was really just paying for the powertrain here. Um, and for that, I'm happy. I'll see you guys in the next Mustang video. Uh, if you want to subscribe for some awesome car reviews with good production quality, a lot better than this video, uh, make sure to subscribe. See ya.